Hi, Star Seeds. So with Christmas just around the corner, you are gonna wanna know how to make this delicious vegan pumpkin soup that is creamy, dreamy, and gonna leave your guests wanting even more. So join me in the kitchen. So for this video, I am using a butternut squash. Uh, that's only because I searched high and low for pumpkin right after Halloween in Toronto and I couldn't find a single pumpkin to use for this recipe. So for those of you who prefer using pumpkin, go right ahead. This recipe works amazing with pumpkin as well as butternut squash. So I've got my butternut squash here and FYI, you can do this recipe with pumpkin as well. Actually, that was my first choice, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, so um, we're doing this recipe with butternut squash, but it's gonna be just as delicious. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut it lengthwise in the center. And this is what it looks like once you've cut the butternut squash open. And of course this works also with, if you're using a pumpkin, all you would do is the same thing, just cut it in half and open it up. And now we need to remove these seeds. So you're just gonna take your spoon. And by the way, it is absolutely worth putting your nose to this beautiful, gorgeous flesh because it smells divine. So now that our butternut squash is prepared and all the seeds have been removed, we are just going to set our butternut squash or pumpkin aside and get our garlic out. So all we're gonna do with the skin on, we're gonna take our knife and we are going to cut. So basically I've broken the garlic in half and now I'm gonna take my knife and cut it in half again. So now the garlic is exposed, but the skin is still on. So now that our garlic is prepared, we are gonna set it aside for a second and we are going to score our butternut squash. You're gonna take your knife and you're just going to cut lengthwise like this and then also the other way as well. So we've scored the butternut squash and this is so that the butternut squash gets infused with garlic. That's one of our ingredients. So you're gonna take your garlic and you're just gonna rub it like this all over the butternut squash. And this is gonna be the most delicious vegan butternut squash soup in the world, I promise you, and it's such a great starter for Christmas dinner. It is absolutely stunning. Next, we are going to season our butternut squash with some salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. I've got some whole peppercorns here, so I'm just going to sprinkle these on as well. Next, we're just gonna put our garlic in this, in this hole here, like so. So now you're going in with a glug of olive oil on both. Lastly, you just wanna get some fresh rosemary and place it directly on the butternut squash. So all you have to do now is place this in your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes. Our butternut squash has been baking for 50 minutes and it's nice and soft and tender. So what you wanna do is remove the rosemary and then just scoop out the flesh and place it in a bowl. So just take the flesh, scoop it out, and place in a bowl. So we've scooped out all of the meat from the butternut squash, and now we are on to the next step. So to a pot, you're going to add in some olive oil, and we're adding a generous amount here because we want our soup to be nice and velvety. We're adding in one chopped onion, stir it up, and let this cook on medium heat for 10 minutes or until the onions are nice and tender. So to the onions, we are going to be adding in some fresh ground nutmeg. You just wanna use a grater on the smallest setting for this. I'm adding in a pinch of cinnamon, a few sprigs of fresh rosemary, some salt, you're gonna take the garlic that we roasted with our butternut squash and you're just going to squeeze it out from the skin. And you're gonna add that into the onions. So I am using all of the garlic that I roasted along with my butternut squash, which is one whole garlic. Now we are going to add in all of the pumpkin that we scooped out or the butternut squash that we scooped out. Just add it in your onions. I'm gonna give it a nice mix. 
so that the ingredients are combined. I'm just using my spatula to sort of smush everything down and around. I am adding in three cups of filtered water. And what you wanna do is bring this to a boil. So as you can see, our soup has come to a nice boil. And now what we're gonna do is take our coconut cream and place it into our soup. And I am using Thai Kitchen. Made a little bit of a mess there. Thai Kitchen coconut cream, full fat. Give it a nice mix. And don't worry about these chunks. This soup is going in the blender and it's gonna be so creamy and divine. I'm just ladling in my soup in my Vitamix blender. Obviously you don't need a Vitamix for this. Just make sure you blend this up long enough until it's smooth, creamy, and dreamy. I've got a knob of vegan butter here and this will make our soup extra velvety. And blend until smooth. Look at this beautiful color of sunshine. Oh my God, it just looks to die for and it is so smooth. So now is the time to taste it. If it needs more salt, add more salt. If it needs more uh, nutmeg, add more nutmeg or anything that your heart desires. So something I learned from Gordon Ramsay is placing some wild mushrooms in the center of your soup, cooked of course, and then topped with some Parmesan cheese for my vegetarian friends or vegan cheese for my vegan friends. And it just adds so much flavor and you get a little bit of a surprise when you're eating your soup. You know the drill, star seeds. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with one of your loved ones, and also subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these videos. I'll see you next time. Mwah.